What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. Yes, we are finally back with another Zara haul. I know it's been many months, but I'm so glad to be back doing what we started with. If you are confused on what I'm talking about, then just go ahead and catch up on my last few videos and you'll know. But really quickly before we jump into these outfits, I wanted to give a really quick shout out to Rose Forever for sending me some beautiful roses for my brand new home and giving me something beautiful to put in the background of my video videos, add a little decor to my home because let's be honest, I just moved in and the decor is really lacking. So you have no idea how much I needed something like this. If you guys don't know about Rose Forever, I'm sure you've seen these forever roses all over the place, but they create forever roses. They last about a year and you can customize the color of the roses, the shape of the box they come in, the color of the box they come in even the material of the box they come in. So if you're looking for a cute gift idea or something that's gonna last you home decor wise, then check them out. I'll leave a discount code on the screen for you guys in case you wanna shop, but enough of that, let's get into the video. I'm just warning you guys, I did not come to play with this haul, okay? Lots of outerwear. Also, lots of really easy but super stylish and cute winter outfits. I know it can be overwhelming trying to piece together outfits and c come up with something creative. So the outfits are really easy, but they look so good. So first I'll go over some accessories that I've recently picked up. Um, one of them is this gorgeous belt and it's a leather belt with stitching all around the edges and it has super long, um, ties to tie around your waist. I actually got this originally because I wore it to a wedding and it brings so many outfits together so I'm so glad that I picked it up. Another accessory that I got is this scarf. I was on the hunt for a neutral scarf that wasn't necessarily like a crazy pattern but something with a little bit of texture, a little bit of pattern so I came across this one right here. It has a little triangle pattern on the edges and some fringe on the bottom. So I found this to be really nice. It's not super thick either. It's, it's kind of like a it's basically a lightweight scarf, but I think it adds just enough of a layer and like just enough of a cute style to really bring together a cute outfit. This came in clutch. I didn't know how much I needed a scarf. Okay, starting with a basic I never knew I needed in my life is this mock neck long sleeve bodysuit. I've worn it a few times, so there might be makeup on it, but um, some I don't usually like bodysuits because they are pretty uncomfortable, let's be honest. But I love this one for a few reasons. The crotch area, not uncomfortable. Definitely long enough. Um, that's always a problem area is that it's usually digging into the side of my hips. I don't have that issue at all with this. I, and, I, and I got a size medium. I didn't size up. This is my true to size. Something that I love too is the sleeves are really long. Like they can come over your hand. That makes a big difference in my opinion. Um, and then another thing, the material is shiny. It kind of reminds me of like an athletic material. As Soon as I put it on, I knew I loved it. This basic is only like $15. Like it's a, it's a no brainer. Something else that I really liked about it, shockingly enough, it's actually a little bit sheer when you put it on and I don't want that to scare anybody, but um, sometimes when you put something like this on that's so covered and it's, not opaque at all, it's just really solid. It can be kind of, it can kind of look like it's swallowing you up. So it's kind of sheer enough to where you can see a little bit of your bra. So I'd say wear a nude bra or a black bra, but I kind of like that because it adds some dimension to your outfit. You can't like literally see through it, but it is a little bit of that opaque type of material. I'm here for it. I've also styled it with so many things. I wore it the other day with some Nike sweats and one of my puffer vests. That's exactly what I needed something like this for. It's perfect for a puffer vest. Um, it's perfect to go under outerwear because you get the mock neck so it keeps like any wool or anything like that directly off of your neck. But I feel like the mock neck also really adds to the style of an outfit, like it just changes it. It just kind of 
makes it more chic looking or maybe more like wintry, a wintry touch. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. All I'm trying to say is it makes your outerwear outfits look fire. Another thing that I came across is this really cute um, off the shoulder top and it's kind of hard to tell the shape of it right now but the front of it that comes off the shoulder is very very long so you can you get like a really draped effect and you can really like manipulate how much off the shoulder you have or just kind of like barely off the shoulder so I love that it's also a really nice um, fine knit so it's a nice soft material it's not scratchy or anything like that I got this one in a medium and it's not a bodysuit which I love like I said I'm not usually here for the bodysuit so I really like this it's pretty long too something else that I've been irritated with is everything being cropped so I was really glad that this is like a normal length top you can really get away with wearing this with like not high-waisted jeans like you, with crop tops I feel like you always have to have something super high-waisted not with this so this is a great like kind of sexy stylish um, less formal version of a top you could wear to like family Christmas or something where you want to look cute but it's also very comfortable um, and appropriate but just doing a little bit extra if you know what I mean I just want to know how are these things not sold out yet I just checked before I started making this video how many of these things are in stock and shockingly I'm pretty sure almost all of them are, are in stock except for maybe like one or two items and I'm shocked because they are so cute how are people not buying these off the shelves this is a matching set obviously you can wear them separately which I love to do I love to have a matching set and then also separate it so it's just it's the, this beautiful, really soft, not scratchy knit sweater, and it's kind of a boat neck, so it shows a little bit of your collarbone. Love that. The sleeves are also pretty wide at the bottom, like they're not cuffed or fitted. I love that too. I don't have anything like that. Almost everything I have is cuffed at the wrist, and it's nice to have something different because if you, you'll see when I do the try-on clip that I put some black leather gloves with the outfit and I think that it just looks so cool having a, a wider sleeve at the bottom and some gloves. By the way, those gloves are not from Zara. I actually got them in Italy, so disclaimer. But I'm sure that Zara has something just like them. I got the sweater top in a medium. I love the fit of this. It's perfect. It's like oversized enough to be cool and oversized and leave it untucked, but also gives you enough material to kind of like tuck it in on the side and create some shape across your body. So I love this. I think this is a really great versatile piece. The midi skirt that matches with it, I got in a large. Actually really happy with the fit. I was kind of worried getting this material in a large because Knits usually stay true to size, I find, because they stretch out so much, but this just kind of hangs on you the right way. I think if I would have gotten a medium, it would have been a little too tight. So I love the way this fits. I think this would be really cute with some black pumps, but in the try-on, you'll see I tried, I wore this with knee-high boots, but I think a really cute other way to wear it would be with pumps because you're so covered up. Pumps kind of add a little bit of sexiness and show a little bit of leg, I guess you could say. The bottom of this is just kind of rolled, which is the same as the sleeve on the sweater. So I love that detail, it's sort of casual. I feel like you could easily dress this down around like Christmas or holidays and just kind of wear it around the house with slippers and look like stylish, but wearing slippers in the house kind of thing. So I love this. It's a great layering piece. It's a great outfit to wear, especially during the winter when you want to have a nice outfit to wear out to dinner or something like that, but you want to be warm and cozy. This is the perfect thing. And I'm thinking about when I'm out in Idaho in the snow during Christmas, I want a cute outfit to wear out to dinner, but there's only so much you can wear when you're in it when you're in a climate like that. So this is perfect with a coat thrown over it. Take off the coat when you get to dinner, like chef's kiss. 
Now, she is something I've had my eye on for a while. Um, this is basically a cardigan with a little belt, but it's a super thick cardigan and it's really soft. It reminds me of this green wool sweater tank set that I got. It's a really thick but soft material, so maybe it's, maybe it's like a wool blend. I want to say it's probably real wool actually because it's 169 but this is something I feel like is the price for what it is is an investment because the material is gonna last a long time and it's also a classic style so it's not really something that's going to go out of style it's gonna be one of those go-to things in your wardrobe every winter that you can pull out and will always look good and will always look stylish. And then the price obviously reflects the quality of the material. So having it last that long and being a classic piece, I definitely think that it's worth it. I love the style of this. It has this faux leather. So this is definitely not real leather, but it's this faux leather little belt and it has pockets at the bottom of the cardigan and then the sleeves are sewn this way, rolled up. The shape of this, like I love the kind of like bell, not bell shape, but kind of like um, loose fitted shape on the top of the arm and then kind of more tapered and fitted towards your wrist. This is such an easy way to have a stylish winter outfit. You can literally throw this on over your turtleneck, leggings, boots, or sneakers, throw a hat on. And then this piece just styles it all the way up and it's also really warm. So I think this is clutch. I love this piece. It's definitely as good as I was anticipating. Again, how is this still in stock? I am not understanding. I thought for sure after seeing Aaliyah's face wear it in one of her vlogs, it was gonna be sold out before I got to it. Because I was already planning to order this for this video, I saw Aaliyah's face wearing it in the vlog and I was like, oh shit, it's over. It's over, it's gonna be sold out, she's wearing it, it's done. No, it's still in stock in all the sizes. And this is one of those things that comes in a small to medium and medium to large kind of thing. But this is another one of those kind of textured boucle-ish type of bomber jackets. But this one is actually different. A lot of the ones I don't really like because they have like that flappy thing right here with buttons and a zipper. I don't really like that. I like that this is more, more clean looking. It just has one zipper up and down. The arms are not cuffed, but they are tapered at the end. So I like that because they kind of hang over your hands. It's not something that you're gonna be able to like pull up your sleeve and have it stay. It's something that's gonna hang over your hands. But what I love about this is bomber jackets are such a cool street style kind of a thing. And being a person that wears a lot of sneakers and stuff like that, having a street style type of jacket, but have it in this like more chic, elevated material is the perfect blend of everything I want in an outfit. It's like chic, stylish, but sporty and streetwear trendy kind of. So they have this in two other colors, in gray and navy blue. Gray is really the color that I want. I feel like gray will hit in my wardrobe. So, and it's like a light gray. It's not a dark gray like this. It's a lighter, actually it's like this gray. Anyways. It's lightweight, so it's perfect for people like me who live in this warm Arizona climate. It's cold right now, but not cold enough to wear like winter jackets and things. So this is perfect. Um, it's a good layering piece. I also think this would look really cute with like a little hooded sweatshirt underneath it, a little hoodie moment over the bomber jacket. I got this in the medium to large. The thing I love about this too is I tried it on in the store and when I went to the store, I was wearing leggings and an oversized graphic t-shirt. I threw this on over it. It looks so good over my oversized graphic t-shirt and then it looked really good over like a full fitted mock neck bodysuit legging outfit. So I think this will work with a lot of different outfits. Are you ready for this one? I don't think you are. If you were looking for your winter wonderland, I just came out of the snow and I'm at the ski lodge resort and I'm just here for apres ski. I'm not here for anything else. I came to look good, be cozy and drink. Yes, <laughs> that's these vibes. Um, obviously not only that, but when I pick up things like this, 
that's what I'm thinking because this is something I'd wear in Idaho at a ski lodge or something like that, like a snow resort type of thing. This is basically a super long, fuzzy cardigan. There's no belt. There are some little pockets right here and I love the way that the collar turns in and kind of reveals the knit on the inside. But the design on the back is kind of like snowy mountains. And I feel like this is just so cute with a belt. It's so cute over leggings, boots. Like this is another one of those really cute, stylish, wintry outfits, like cold winter outfits. Um, you want to look good going out to dinner, but you're in the snow, this is it. Maybe you're trying to dress up for a winter party and it's really cold, but you need to look cute, this is it. Like I can find so many reasons and times to wear something like this. The material is super fuzzy and I love the contrast of the white, gray, and black. I also love that it's a subtle design and it's nothing crazy, but you can definitely tell it is like snowy mountain type of vibes here. I got this in a large. I like that it's oversized and flowy and like super long too. It covers your butt. You can wear it as a dress with some boots or you could even wear it as a dress with a, one of those really long poplin white t-shirts and um, just some pumps and have this over the top. That would be really cute too. This is one of those things that went viral, so I don't know if it's in stock right now. If it is and you want it, get it when you see it because it's gonna be gone. Um, I'm sure that you've seen this on everyone and everywhere. And there's a reason because these things are so cute to do a juxtaposition type of outfit with. And what I mean by that is I'm thinking like streetwear with a fur coat like cargo pants, sneakers, New York hat, and a fur coat. That's the type of look I'm going for with this. Or you could, I mean, if you were looking for it to be something dressy, you could definitely wear it over a dress on a night out. It has one snap that snaps it together. Another thing I'll say too is this is really soft. It feels actually very similar to real fur. Obviously it's not real fur, but I have felt real fur and this feels like very good quality. It feels almost real. So that's shocking. Also the color of it, love the color of it. It has a silky inside, so you're not gonna be like sticky and sweaty. I got this in, I got this in a large because all the other sizes were sold out. I probably would get a medium, so I'd say stay true to size. I think if I would have gotten a medium, it would have been a little bit shorter on me, which I would have liked more. You'll see in some of the clips that I'm kind of like doing like this and kind of bringing it up a little bit because I feel like it hits me at the weird, at kind of a weird spot. I'd like it to be a little bit shorter. But yeah, super cute with a New York hat and some leather gloves. This next piece I was actually surprised by. I thought that this was going to be like a coat material you know, like a typical Zara coat, but I was actually presently surprised. It's a knit material. So it's very, I don't know if you guys can see, see that, but it's like a thick wool blend knit material. So it feels like a heavy, thick sweater, but it's in the style of a coat. Genius, I love this idea. Also, I love the pattern of this and the color. Um, this has no belt, but it does have buttons down the front and a couple pockets in the front. This is meant to be oversized, loose, and like not really have a lot of shape. It's a boxy type of style. And I don't have much of that in my wardrobe, so I actually really like the difference of this. The sleeves are pretty wide and not cuffed, so it's definitely like a really flowy, really long, cardigan coat, I guess. I could see this getting a lot of wear because it's comfortable, it's soft. You're not um, wearing a big, thick, heavy coat. It's more of just like a super long sweater cardigan coat. <laughs> the check pattern was so unique and cool. I love anything that has a slight pattern, but nothing too crazy. I got this one in a medium. Glad I stayed with a true to size medium. I think a large would have been way too big on me. Um, I, and I would have just been swallowed up by the entire thing. So I would say stay true to size. 
If you don't like how big it was fitting on me, you could even probably size down, I, I'd say, but it's meant to be oversized, so stay true to size. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed, and, and thank you for sticking it out with me and waiting for me to come back with my hauls. I truly appreciate it. I know you guys have been waiting for a long time for this, so thank you for being ride or dies. Don't forget to subscribe and catch up on my other vlogs. I've been doing a lot of uploads about my home building process, and there's gonna be home vlog coming more often, hopefully weekly, on top of my fashion videos. So if you wanna see more of my life and my family's life, then subscribe so you don't miss out. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Yeah.